Okay, what you have to do is pull that straight up while you're holding the lever, pulling the lever up. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, the very first thing you do is you unplug the, the two units from each other, and then this is the lever that you pull up to uh, release it. Okay, you can see that mechanism right there. Now, David, my master magician, my master um, mechanic, Okay, now there's two screws here, and then there's two screws right here. And those are just Philip Head's uh, screws. Okay, now while he's doing that, I want to do a little commercial for Batteries Plus. Batteries Plus had these batteries right here, and I found I found it on the internet at Batteries Plus, and they charge eighty dollars, but they charge twenty dollars shipping because these things are heavy. I was very lucky in going to Little Rock, and they had two stores in Little Rock, one in North Little Rock and one in Little Rock, Arkansas, and I got those batteries for eighty dollars a piece. Uh, I went to uh, the local uh, wheelchair um, medical supply guy down the street and uh, he charges you see how easy that cowling comes off and then there here's the here's the two batteries and uh, we're going to stop and get an, uh, a, a wrench. Unfortunately, these are metric tools. And so what we're going to do is uh, it's 10 on one side and 11 on the other. And while he's doing that, I'll point out that this, there's a um, fuse right here. And so you can see why it's important to have the post on the battery come right straight up because this little L brace thing hooks to the battery and then this little fuse hooks to the um, to the wire and that way for some reason there's um, a fuse in, in, in the battery system and if you note the same situation is over here too there's a fuse in that situation alright what we're going to do is we're going to slowly take these out so I'm going to pause and we'll come back I let me finish my story about the, the local um, health uh, supply house. I go over there and they want it $200 each for these batteries. And so um, Batteries Plus sold them without blinking their eye for $80 each. So uh, as I say it's a commercial for, eight, for Batteries Plus because if there's one in your city um, they're a good place to shop. All right, I'm going to pause this for a little bit. Okay, we just successfully disconnected the old battery. And we've now put in the new battery in its place. The old battery is still sitting there. Okay. All right, we're going to pause it. Okay, we're... Uh, putting the positive side on 
and we're using a number 10 millimeter to do that. Okay, now we're working on the other battery on the positive side. And uh, while he does that, I'll tell you what kind of car, what kind of uh, wheelchair this is. This is a Invacare, I-N-V-A-C-A-I-R, an Invacare, and the model number is Pronto M41. So Invacare Pronto M41. All right, we're going to start working on the negative side and then pull that battery out. So hang on. While he's doing that, let me just share with you another piece of insight. I, again, I don't want to go on about Batteries Plus, but uh, I asked the guy, I said, uh, you know, these old batteries I'm taking out, uh, what do I do with them? He says, well, don't throw them away. Don't throw them in the trash because they could short out and, and, uh, and explode the trash. He said, we uh, have a recycling program where you can bring your old battery and uh, we'll put it on a pallet and once the pallet's full, we'll take it to the recycling uh, area. So there's another plus, shopping with um, batteries plus, is one, uh, the price of the battery, $80.00. And the uh, fact that I don't have to worry about what I'm going to do with the old battery. Okay, we we are zipping right along, and and it 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 has only taken him five ten minutes at best. And uh, now we're going to put some zip ties on. We're going to put the zip tie from here to here to kind of hold this together. And um, so let's let's work on getting the zip ties. But the point being is that this battery change was so easy that if you just know how to handle a number of a 10 millimeter wrench, um, you don't have to pay the service guy up at the uh, the wheel steer uh, store um, forty five dollars just to uh, to change the batteries for you. So if you can handle a, a number 10 or a 10 millimeter wrench, mm -hmm. you can do it yourself. And I tell you what, if you have David helping you, it's a whole lot easier. All right, we're gonna pause for a second. We are down to the last strokes. And uh, David's uh, cutting off the the um, end of the zip ties and that will be one professional job done in a very short period of time. Alright good. Okay here comes the cowling. You bring up the make sure you got that little cord sticking out because if not then you have to looking for it when you get it all screwed down. And those are Phillips head screw, screws. Alright, now that's the cowling is on. Now we're going to take up the chair. We're going to put the chair on Next, all right. Make sure we get that get that bad boy right in there. This this may be the, this may be the hardest part of the whole thing. Okay. What 
we are we're underneath the chair and this is the plug that you have to do first and then that is the uh, spindle that the seat sits on and then right over here <coughs> right over here is the lever that releases the spindle so we have successfully changed the battery and the chair is ready to go so let's turn it on and look at that that bad boy is charged up and ready ready to do it <laughs> 